All right, everybody. We have our friend Millie on. How are you guys doing? He is a Saints fan. That's right. Who that? Who that? <laughs> who that nation? He's like our he's like our preseason annual guest. Yeah, we yes. we try to have him on every year. I think we missed last year. Yeah, we did. Uh, but I definitely needed to make it back. So, yeah, it's yeah. way too fun not to do it. So exactly. Like since we're Panther fans and he's a Saints fan, we we like we're kind of thinking about doing like a NFC South like rundown for the season. Kind of just like. Overall, kind of recap, kind of like what's happened and then what we think about how the season's going to take place. Yeah, kinda. yeah something like that. So we'll probably just kind of, it's kind of be like a, probably go everywhere with this video a little yeah. bit. Yeah. So. It's probably not going to stay in the NFC South. Just yeah. Yeah. We were already talking about the Browns like right before we started. It's this. probably yeah. not going to stay there. So just before everybody. You but, guys want to start with the Panthers? No, nah, I want to hear the Saints. Yeah, yeah. Saints. yeah I kind of want to Tell us about the Saints all season. The, the Saints all season, I mean, we didn't really do much. We re signed some guys, got a couple contracts out of the way. Um, honestly, looking in about a couple of years, it's gonna look rough because we got too many players. <laughs> what do you think about the Michael Thomas? Yeah, uh, five year. What is it? Five year. Hundred million. Yeah, I like it. I mean, he deserves it. He definitely deserves Nobody's it. Nobody's caught more passes than him in the last three years. And you know, we gotta pay somebody, so why not him? Like he's a lot of people are saying the Saints don't have a cap room because people are just like, how are they I doing think this? The, yeah, I'm like, have you seen the uh, what's it? Who was that one team that was doing that even more? The uh, the Rams, like they don't have a cell. They don't have it. No, I, I they don't, don't have one. No space. The, <laughs> only, the only thing that concerns me about the Michael Thomas contract is Alvin Kamara down the road. Yeah. Yeah, oh, like not, if if I was a Saints fan, I would be more concerned with signing Kamara than Thomas. We also have uh, and Lattimore. That's, that's, just Lattimore personal, yeah. that's just my personal opinion. Got to pay Lattimore, and we got a couple linemen, so offensive linemen. We got. Man, what about uh, Cameron Jordan? I'm not familiar yeah. with his comp. Uh, probably about do right. Yeah. Oh, we just extended him. Oh, he just yeah, he's, 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 he's good. good. Yeah. So I mean. Within the next like two years, we're set. But after that, down the road, I mean, honestly, that Drew Brees now. Brees will retire, and then we don't have no money. It's a win now, yeah. kind of. Yeah, exactly. Mentality. Yeah. Which they've been a win now the last three or four years, and, and they already got, have a good foundation. Like close. you said, they don't really need to get anybody in the free agency. Yeah. They've mm -hmm. gotten pretty close the past two years. Like they've yeah. done extremely. We've been well. itching our way. It's yeah. really honestly it's like how I've been saying this the whole time. If they, I, I really think if they would have advanced like past the Rams, I think oh, they, they would have curb stomped. They would have won. Yeah. No yeah. Like, I don't think the pictures have an answer for that. No, mm -hmm. absolutely. We, no. we were saying that. I was like, you think that we were watching the Super Bowl? We were watching the Super Bowl. We were like, I almost wish the Saints would have got there. Yeah, it would have been way more interesting. Like it's our, it's our Super Bowl. Yeah. It's our yeah. division rival, and we were all sitting there like, God, if the Saints would have gotten there. Yeah. <laughs> they, were the chief, they were the Chiefs. Well, obviously, they wouldn't have played the Patriots. Yeah. I was like, you think 13 points would so be the, the Saints? No. If the Saints, yeah. if the Saints, easy if the the Saints would have been there with the Patriots, it would have been a good Super Bowl. And if the Chiefs would have been there with the Rams, it would have been a good Super Bowl. Yeah. You know, yeah. like. A different mixed match. Yeah, it would have yeah. 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 changed the whole thing of everything. Yeah. Yeah. I like Michael Thomas and Alvin Kamara. Like, if I was a Saints fan, I'd feel really good about that foundation. Like, offensively, they got. It's, it's almost as if you can plug in any quarterback and our offense will be some type of efficient. Oh, yeah. But it's a, it's a defense that I'm worried about money-wise. And then and their defense yeah. is a little bit better than had in recent years. They, yeah, exactly. they cleaned it up a lot. Because mm. like so a lot. Say, it's like, you know, some of those years when Freeze was throwing like 5,000 yards, mm. it's like, oh, what if he had a defense? Our like, secondary was always sketchy. Super sketchy. All the time. Yeah, all the time. Mm. And then you get like the oldest people, like Jerry's Bird, like when you're yep. super old. Yep. <laughs> they got <laughs> hey, Ted, Is Ted Ginn still there this year that's coming up here? Yeah, he's going to be there. He, I think he is like perfect for the, pa uh, the Panthers and the Saints are like, it's perfect. Like, yeah. It's like, oh, he made us pay, man. That dude. I knew that. Yeah, you can go back and look at my Twitter. Gosh, like, but then we got Ridden up with that up. And then, like, I've shared every time he does oh. it. Yeah, yeah. And as he's part of the Ohio State squad that's all down there in the I world. know, like Michael Thomas and mm. who else? Uh, um, we got Michael Thomas. You got Ted Ginn down there. We got a safety that's from uh, Ohio State as well. So that's just been. Where's Lattimore from? from? Lattimore's from Ohio State. I thought yeah, so. Jeez. Right. Yeah. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the Saints are doing some good things. What do you feel about the Mark Ingram losing him? I'm not too worried about that. Not. I feel like as long as they have a capable power back, yeah, it's good. It's exactly. mainly Alvin Kamara that just need to like change the pace back. Exactly. And I think this year, because last year I expected him to be used a lot more than he was, and he wasn't used that often. I don't think. So I think this year they're gonna up his usage a lot, and then he's gonna he's gonna he, produce. Like, he didn't every play a lot of the year. first part of the season, right? No, nah, yeah, he, he, he was out for a little bit. I think. Like mm -hmm. the first two games, or maybe one game. And then that Cowboys yeah. gave me that ridiculous illegal hit. That was mm -hmm. stupid. Yeah, I, oh, whew, I was heated about that. I saw some. <laughs> we were heated about. That. I saw some Panthers fans like, oh yeah, that's what he gets. Like it's a division no. rival. I'm nah. like, dude, that, as a football <laughs> fan, like you have to be a fan yeah. of the game before you're a fan of. Like, yeah, we were we were heated about that. That was ridiculous. Yeah, nowadays the the line between safety 
safety and just like getting away from football, I think like they can help it. Like hits like that, Alvin Kamara was that that's was right. That's right. But some of the stuff that's just like you can't even touch the quarterback. Like that's it's, it's a flag. Oh, like, like some of those like where yeah. Clay Matthews was getting thrown. Yeah, here. He's, exactly. He's barely even. They he's got, he's coming. Up. He's grabbing the he's like wrapping the quarterback up as the ball's leaving, mm. and they're saying rough in the past. They got to relook some of the quarterback rules. Like the I can get the falling down. I got what their overall like point the was. Body weight when you down. fall down, mm. I kind of get that. But sometimes they're just following through at the tackle, and exactly. they obviously are going to land on them. And yeah. they're like, oh, that's a flag. Like when they're scooping them and driving them, and they're just they're not even affecting the player of the play. Mm. Like you know, they're not affecting the play anymore. Like why are you trying to just slam? This is unnecessary around? at that but point. But when they're in the process of tackling somebody, and they just like wrap them up and throw them. Yeah. Like, Dude, you're making sure you secure. It's crazy as it sounds tackle. from someone that's played football. Like when you just throw him down, that's the least hurt. Yeah, that's the least what. That's like what, what Aaron Donald means. does. Like he doesn't even go down with them. He just he throws, just throws them. Down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he's not trying to get caught up in all that. Like yeah, like he did that. I think in the Super Bowl against Brady too. Mm -hmm. yeah. But like it's kind of ridiculous some of the rules, and it also kind of makes it to where it's like if your team has a physical quarterback like who's like strong and like like how Cam is and like how a couple others are, it's like. What's the point of even really having one if it's like gonna? If yeah, you well, can't hit him. Like you can't hit him. No. And then whenever you do hit him, they're kind of like, oh well, he's a bigger, stronger quarterback. He can take it. Exactly. But if Brady yeah. does it. We're done. It's, like, no, yeah. it's, it's one hundred. I don't think anybody in their right mind would say it's a fair scale. Like I don't think anybody would say the scale is mm -hmm. fair across the board. Like just and just to be a defense. No matter player. like you're Drew Brees, who's one. Complete into the spectrum, and yeah. Cam Newton's the complete. exactly. And yeah. I think we can agree it's totally not a fair. Yeah, you, you touch Drew Brees, they'll throw the flag. They'll yeah. it's okay. <laughs> but the Cam, I, oof, they're not gonna get. Like, it. I mean, if I, you don't cover them in the, if I was a Saints yeah, fan, if I was a Saints fan, I'd be like, I hope somebody kind of just you know maybe taps his arm a little yeah. bit. Yeah, an extra fifteen out of this. Exactly. <laughs> We will get the call. But It'll Cam be. can get just the helmet to helmet. It's not just, it's not just like us being, it's not just Cam. It's a lot of other people. Oh, it's yeah. Big Ben. Mm, it's yep. Carson Wentz. Yep. Uh, Carson Michael Wentz. Vick after he got back. Yep. It's a lot of Dude, people. he could do anything to him. The refs were like, nah, he deserves it. Andrew, looks like, Andrew <laughs> looks like the only physical quarterback that kind of gets a flag thrown his way just because he's so much of a pocket passer, but he's still yeah. a physical guy. He never shows it. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Which, yeah. by the way, if you do something crazy to him, he'll say good hit. Like, yeah, he compliments you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like even Carson Wentz is becoming that skill where, like, if you if you I mean, you can just slam him and they don't even care. Philip like, Rivers is one of the guys that dude, he, Phillip Rivers, he doesn't even run that often, but they won't call the call for call him. I don't get it. And he'll let the ref know about it too. Yeah, which <laughs> I'm I'm totally okay with. Yeah, yeah. But the Panthers off season. Probably the best in franchise. Actually, in no, my it's opinion, easily the best. It's been pretty good. Easily, easily the best, best in franchise yeah. history, mm -hmm. in my opinion. We've sealed up every loose end almost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some would say, like, I don't want to say too much, but, like, and I was satisfied and they fashion. kept going. Like, exactly. Nothing yeah. can be, yeah. Like, two two signings ago, I was completely happy. I was good yeah. after the, like, Before I Before Gerald McCoy, I was happy. Then we got him, and then we got Trey, uh, Trey Boston. Like, mm, just two more even better. Yeah. I couldn't believe the, the uh, Gerald McCoy one. Because I always, because the Bucks are kind of, like, we were talking about this earlier. It's mm -hmm. like the Bucks are kind of like I don't know how you would explain them. Like they're kind of just an odd man out almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're kind of just there. <laughs> and it's like I, the I one player I, that I, I'm I like, wanna, this I don't want to say they're not a threat because mm. everybody's a threat. Yeah, they've been yeah. us the last couple of years. Yeah, but <laughs> they're, they're a threat to, to ruin your season, but not to come out. A divisional, top. like, yeah, like yeah, exactly. divisionally, they're definitely a huge threat. Like, mm. but like outside of the division, I don't think they're as good as the other three teams. But like. The one player I always was like, I love this dude. Like he's so underrated is Jared McCoy. Jared McCoy. I'm like, if he was yeah. on a, a more like big market team. playoff team that mm -hmm. was like a bigger market, he would be like everybody. I mean, the man's made the Pro Bowl on a team that hasn't even made the playoffs. Like how many times in yeah. a row? Like, like probably the whole time he's been there. The whole time he's been there, like. Yeah, he's made the damn. And, and it's like when I was like, I would he would just be a perfect fit. And he always talked highly about the Panthers and like a lot of the players. I think that addition to really solidify the Panthers to having the one of the best front seven. Um, and we're yeah. switching, and we're switching to a three four. Yeah. Like, and he's gonna play move. Just to be like, able to yeah. fit all those guys on the field at once. Yeah. And Burns has been killing it in my training mm -hmm. camp on yeah. a lot of the videos. He's been like burning our. Second second dr round draft. Time. Greg Little. Yeah, just, <laughs> I, I was like, is he that good or is, he, is Greg Little just not it? Like, I don't know. But I think it's Brian Burns, honestly. Yeah, yeah, I, I think, yeah Brian Burns, and he's, he's a big dude. He can just match. Yeah. People are saying, he, oh, he's probably a little too not heavy enough and all that. I'm like, mm -hmm. I feel like he's so fast, it won't matter. He reminds me a little of Cam Jordan because of he his legs, how he is. And then, like, uh, Jason Taylor a little bit. Yeah, mm, yeah. Oh, man, Jason Taylor. That goes way back. That was, uh, <laughs> he was. <laughs> And then you got uh, the Trey Boston one. I kind of we had been thinking they'd do that for a while. We had mm -hmm. been like, 
kind of noticing that he'd been doing a lot in Charlotte on Twitter. Like I, I told you a couple nights ago, I was like, I was like, man, Trey Boston's been like back in Charlotte. Which I thought the same thing, but I'm like, dude, he's been doing this the whole offseason. I'm starting to think. If, I was if like, he's been around already. here a ton. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. And then the you know it broke at like midnight a couple nights ago that we signed him. Thursday night it broke at midnight. So, so he's there. been working on that contract. Probably I think I think while. I think yeah. he's been like he's had been meeting with people. There's and no and he was at practice mm-hmm. the next day. Like and he was at Van Fest the other day. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah he was. Mm-hmm. They signed him Wednesday night at like eleven o'clock. He was at practice in Spartanburg Thursday and then at FanFest Friday. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, but he's been around here the whole time. It's not like he had to travel from San Diego. He was just getting, getting are. paperwork. Yeah, they were. I think, I think they were just tying up some loose ends. And we got him on a good deal. One year, three million. Perfect deal. Good deal for mm-hmm. a guy of his caliber. I, think I feel like he could have made more anywhere else. Like, he probably just wanted to come here. Well, three million? Yeah. That's, like, that's like the Gerald McCoy sign. He was offered double that in Cleveland. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, and, and Cleveland's double definitely that. a pleasing spot to land. I mean, <laughs> right now it is. <laughs> they, they got, got teams, everybody so. up in there. Mm-hmm. Baker and OVJ and Jarvis Landry. Yeah. And- Real quick, just a little side note. What do you guys? You think they're gonna be legit or no? I think they're gonna be legit. I think they're gonna I, be dangerous. I think the reason they're gonna be legit is because Baker doesn't care about anything. I feel like he's he's so focused within the game that he doesn't care about the fans, the comments, and stuff like that. He's just gonna do. I think. He's I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. If I, I don't know if I'd use the word legit, but I use the word dangerous. They're yeah, very. I dangerous. really could see them collapsing, or I could see them going like just taking over the league. I, either one, I would not be shocked. I could yeah. see it being too many I personalities, think, like too many big, or I could see it being like. This is an alpha male team that just like mm-hmm. see where I, all the people that nobody like took seriously were just yeah. gonna just wreck this whole league. I th- I think they'll win the division. Yeah, that division is crazy. Yeah. Like I think they'll the win Ravens the are pretty good too. Mm-hmm. The Steelers it'll be tight. Up. It'll be a tight division, but I think they'll win the division. Yeah, I, can I mean see the it. Ste- the Steelers have to put a whole new offense together this year. Mm-hmm. First time in how many years they got to do that? Like they got to put a whole new it's offense like, together. I, th- I think it's gonna it's gonna hit Juju hard when he realizes that he's the number one now. Yeah, all the number one corners now. He gets all the attention. Like he's it's, he he it's kind of just like the Funches situation. Like he was really really good and but he was on number twos the whole time. Like mm-hmm. the middle he got rid of Benjamin, it was like he could not he could not create any separation against number one corners. Yeah, he yeah. couldn't at all. So we'll see. And Juju's not super super fast. I mean, he's not Antonio Brown fast, not off the mm. ball or anything like that. So. But he's got a little, little he's kick, little crazy strength. physical too. Like, yeah. yeah, he's super strong. He's super physical, but he's got a, like Antonio Brown's break off the ball when you're playing a number one corner is just. I think the most shocking thing about Juju was when he came to the league is how physical he was. When he laid out yeah. perfect, yeah. I was like, that was just this is a rookie. thing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this is a thing. He was like literally 20 years old. I and think as a yeah. rookie, he's super young. And he's not like some six four, two twenty five, no, like six, six two maybe. Yeah, he's, just, you know, he's like two twenty, like something yeah. like that. He's just That's super big. strong. Yeah. Yes. That's insane. Laying out perfect. That's crazy. Uh-huh. See, we told you NFC South that lasted what five minutes. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't even talk about that. We didn't even get to like the other. We didn't two. get to the Falcons. We, kind of, we pretty much finished oh, the, Falcons. the Falcons. The Falcons. Falcons. We'll go ahead and get them out of the way because this is like they they are super dangerous in my opinion. They, are, they can go either way. They are they are the biggest hit and miss team. Mm-hmm. They can just take at their best. They can stomp anybody. Anybody. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. matter who it is. But they got to get this Julio Jones situation figured out. Yeah, mm-hmm. Michael yeah. Thomas just cleaned their Michael Michael Thomas just cleaned out the Falcons. He just cleaned out the Falcons' bank account. Yeah, right? yeah that's gonna be a nightmare. In my opinion, him. Julio Jones is the best receiver in the NFL. It, that's my opinion. So if, my, if it was up to me, I would pay him more yeah. than I would pay Michael Thomas. Who, who, yeah. who do you think, Moe? Who do you? Uh, the best receiver in the league? He's gonna say Antonio Brown. I think I think it doesn't. Well, I would I would I have a little bias. I think okay. it's Michael, Michael Thomas, Thomas because of the fact that. Like he doesn't even get that much separation half the time, but he'll still bring the ball in every yeah. time. He'll oh, catch him in fantasy. Did it every week, fifteen at least. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. it's not like oh, you know, most people was like he'll get you ten every week, and then yeah. it's like fifteen. But I don't think you need the best receiver in the league to win games. No. Or to, win, or to make it far. Uh, no. the, you see what the Patriots do it year in, year out. The year yeah, we won the Super Bowl, yeah. the year we won the Super Bowl, we have Philly Brown and Ted Ginn. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. won 15 out of 16 games. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then my, another thing about Michael Thomas is like his catch percentage, I think it was like 90% of the in the way. Like yeah. everything thrown in his way is basically going to He's led the league in completions or receptions the last three years. Like he doesn't mm-hmm. drop. He's physical. He's, yeah. he's crazy strong at the line. Like, that's the only thing. Only thing he doesn't have that crazy speed and he doesn't yeah, he get that separation. Speed. Other than that, he like everything you want in a receiver, he's got it. But man, the, who the Falcons? Mm-hmm. They're about to have to write a check because this happens. Yeah. Every, this happens with every position. Yeah, when somebody a signs a big deal, every time. even if the next person up isn't isn't even as good, you're still gonna have to pay them more. Yeah, because the, the market. It's about yeah. who's up next. It's not about who's the best, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. But yeah. 
That's probably going to create another NFL lockout if it goes. If it keeps doing longer. this, if yeah. it keeps getting ridiculous, like, can you imagine what Ezekiel Elliott's demanding? Like, I can't imagine what he's doing. Oh, dude, wait till yeah. Saquon's there. <laughs> yeah, Saquon's going to clean out the Giants. Oh, my Ooh. God. Saquon and Kamara, they can basically be like, yeah. all right, listen, somebody will pay me this. It's just a matter of yeah. who's going to do it. <laughs> Speaking of the Giants, I was asking a friend of mine that's a Giants fan the other day. I was like, man. They're this extreme. season when Eli throws the ball, do y'all have anybody that's supposed to go downfield and catch it? Or? Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll like yeah. before, maybe. I mean, I know he's gonna eventually have to throw the ball. Do y'all have people yeah. to catch the ball I mean, in y'all's team or not? They like, can't just keep it giving a Saquon like that. Sterling like, Shepard's yeah. hurt. I mean, OBJ has gone. It's like Golden Tate you know, is suspended for the first four weeks. <sighs> yeah, he was. What, what was the suspend, suspension? It was PEDs. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> This is Jeez. they're like dude. <laughs> this, 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 <laughs> could, you, could you have popped it a worse time? <laughs> yeah. Which I think Golden Tate. There's no I'm, place in Odell Beckham, but I feel like Golden that's Tate's a credible. So he's solid. He's a solid receiver. The only thing is, he's getting up there in age. He's a little bit so older. You can't k- count on him for like a long period of time. Yeah, I mean, a, he's gonna be there what, like probably have like five more years, maybe something like mm-hmm. that. If, I mean, probably like I don't know. That's just some kind of off the wall figure. Yeah. That's like, probably if, that's if, probably about uh, right. Yeah, because he, he's the type of guy that's going to grind it out to the very end. Yeah, he'll play yeah. until he can't. Until his body tells him no more. Yeah. He'll just keep playing. Mm-hmm. So. And he's tough. He's good. He's super reliable. Yeah. What do you think about the uh, the Falcons? Like, do you think they'll? You think they could? I think it, we were saying earlier. I think any team except for the Bucks, I would say. I mean. Could probably win this division. Yeah, easily, easily. I think yeah. the Bucks got just too many problems. Yeah, exactly. I think yeah. Jameis Winston is causing problems. They don't, he's causing locker room problems. Yeah, this is the first year of uh, well, uh, their head coach down there now. Yeah, they yeah. just got a brand new head. They coach. They got Bruce Arians. Yeah, Bruce Arians right there. Yeah. They got to figure Which out. Everybody's saying if you can't make it work with Bruce Arians, like there's a problem. Yeah, like, you're not. Like, this isn't. Yeah, it. like obviously leader, he's a mastermind. Their leader on defense is in the division rivals team. Like mm-hmm. it's like, oh my goodness. Like, yeah, that really hurt. All this is adding up. I feel like that really like hurt the. But I mean, honestly, it's probably the best thing that could happen to them is like a reset. But it's like mm-hmm. that's the only thing they've done to reset. Like it's like they lost their best defense player. They haven't like cut ties with anybody else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They mean, lost. They lost to Sean Jackson. I mean, all they got is really Mike Evans. Um, which, by the way, I feel like is the most underrated receiver maybe in the mm-hmm. league. Very yeah. underrated. Very. We love. We love watching. <laughs> I, I always Evans. say him and like Alshon. I feel like don't get enough credit. That's just because I don't. I don't get like why do they don't get it's the press? A lot of people get it, but. Mm-hmm. Especially Mike Evans. Mike Evans can like he's kind of like a little bit like Michael Thomas, but a little bit different style. He's almost like a cheat code button. Like if you <laughs> if you're running around, you need somebody to throw the ball to, throw it up to him. He, like, there's yeah. basically nobody can jump with him. Yeah, he no, will no, go nobody, for it. Nobody he's, nobody can he's strong enough him. and he's tall enough to really like go up. He's six five. He has like a crazy vertical. Like there's just nothing. You I'd have rather no answer. I'd rather have him for a jump ball than Julio Jones. I'll say yeah. that. That is yeah. a play to, like, <laughs> I agree, no, I, yeah. I, agree with that. I actually kind of agree with that. Like, I kind of agree with that, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I've, seen, I've, seen, I've seen him come too. down with a ton of them. Yeah. That's the thing. <laughs> uh, he's done it to us a lot. And it's his strength that really just separates him from everybody else. He's super else. strong. Yeah. Him and Julio are maybe the two strongest receivers mm-hmm. in the league. Like, yeah. Julio Jones, I think, is clearly the strongest receiver in the league. I don't think there's anybody who could mm-hmm. outman Julio yeah. Jones. Mm-hmm. Maybe even there's other positions that couldn't outman Julio I don't, I don't think most defensive players could. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that dude is so big. Yeah. Like he's like bigger than like Keekly. Like when that that video of them like running beside each other, I'm like, God, yeah. he's so much bigger than Keekly. Like, well, how is he? You seen how big Eric Reed's been getting? Yeah, he's, he's huge. he is gigantic. He's dude. been a, a, a little small safety, but plays big. Now he's kind of filling out a little bit more. He's, like, he's bigger huge. than Shaq Thompson in that video you sent me the other day. Yeah, he's gigantic. Dude. Yeah, he's yeah. so big. That's scary, honestly, because because the way he plays. Oh, he's a big oof. hitter. He's yeah, a huge Eagles game where he just basically like scooped up. Uh, his, Ertz and just threw well, he, him. Threw, oh, yeah. he threw Wentz on the ground, then Ertz tried to come in his defense, and he just flung Ertz on the ground. Like, <laughs> like, he's like, he's like, like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's that dude's crazy. I'm, I'm glad we picked him up. He's, mm, dude, yeah. I'm so glad we got him. He's like the best safety we've had in forever. Forever. Yeah, he's honestly. so mm. good. Yeah, we were saying as soon as we signed him, we're like, dude, we just got a top five safety. Like, yeah. <laughs> We just got a top. I remember I was DMing you about this. I was like, can you imagine if we, whenever uh, Eric Weddle was, like, uh, deciding where he was going to go? I'm like, imagine mm-hmm. if we had both of them. Like, yeah. Like, I know it probably won't ever happen. Yeah, when Eric was with the 49ers, that, that was, like, his first two, three years in the league. And that he was defense. killing it then. Yeah, that was a good. He went to, I think he was on a Super Bowl team. Yeah, dude. Yeah. That was, defense mm-hmm. was insane. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the NFC South is, is definitely, I think it's the best division of football. I think it definitely could. Yeah. I think it has to be. It's the most mm-hmm. competitive. You've had you've had last two teams go to the last Super Bowl five years. Five been, years. Yeah, you've had Drew Brees who should have won the Super Bowl last yeah. year. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. The Saints should have <laughs> went. Let's be honest. We're, we're
I mean, two of them have won MVPs in Drew the last Drew Brees, like, to me, like, I know this probably makes some people mad. Like, in my opinion, I think he's the GOAT. Like, I really... Yeah, I've, like, heard, I've heard you say that many times. I don't think, like, there's a more prolific passer than him. I, I think uh, Manning and, and Brady... I think Brady is more, like, accomplished as, like, like overall career and, like, mm-hmm. teams, like, goals and all that. But yeah. as far as, like, who can throw the most yards, who can throw the most touchdowns, who's made it work with way more receivers and... Yeah. Because everybody's like, oh, Brady makes everybody look good. Have you seen Drew Brees? Yeah, exactly. You're, well, you're even, out and getting five thousand like, like, <laughs> Besides Michael Thomas, name like a credible, like, he's a, like a really... Like a bona fide number one, yeah, top, like, top five, top ten. I mean, league, like, the, the only one I can think of is Marquise Colson, which yeah. most people don't even consider, like, they don't even put him in that realm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, people knew about him when he was in the league, but they didn't say, oh, he's one of the best receivers. I think he's one of the most underrated, but, I mean, besides those two, there's no, like, mm-hmm. I mean... Like, they've had Moss, they've had, you know, El- uh, or Welker, they've had Edelman, like, Drew Brees yeah, has had, like, Dion Branch. that's it. Dion Branch. Dion Branch was, was a Super Bowl MVP. <laughs> People forget he was a Super Bowl MVP yeah. when they went. Well, and I mean, even with the Saints, like, even in their, kind of their dark years when they weren't really that good, it was still, like, that, feel, that feeling of, like, that feeling of, like, God, we gotta go play Drew Brees. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. You, yeah it didn't matter what Drew Brees had, like, even when he was on the Chargers, people forget it was Chargers time. He was awesome there. Yeah. Awesome. He just got hurt. And like, it's, it's enjoyable watching them play, because every oh, single yeah. drive, you're thinking, like, this game is such a, like, this is very, every single every drive. Single drive you no, think when we play against them, I'm like, they will probably score this. Oh, drive. whenever like, we, every, like, we, we meet up and we're watching the Panthers game, and we're like, we better hope we can put up about 35 today. Yeah, because like, every possession matters. Yeah, I mean, I hope, I hope we can <laughs> I put really up I really don't think Drew Brees gets the credit. I think it's just because he has one Super Bowl and people, that's all they care about. He doesn't about. have an MVP, does he? He doesn't have an MVP, yeah. but that's the crazy. thing is, there's like, yeah. mm-hmm. I didn't like how they were trying to give it to him last year just because he deserved one yeah. all the other year. I, I don't know, it's like, not a lifetime, or a lifetime achievement award, but it's like, 2008, like, 2009. It's not a storyline yeah, exactly. story award. You can't just give it for story. Like, yeah. Patrick Mahomes, like, he, he clearly, clearly deserved the MVP. He had fifty more than 50 touchdowns and more than 5,000 yards. Second player ever to do that in his first year playing. It's only, yeah. it's it's only three seasons that yeah. have been 50 touchdown seasons, and he's one of them. His is, well, he's you can't what? take into account his age. because yeah. kind of, But I'm like, there's nothing. Nobody's done this. It's yeah, happened exactly. like two times. Yeah. <laughs> his first year actually starting at quarterback. No. Yeah. The man threw 50 touchdowns and 5,000 yards. I, 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 I'm not trying Peyton to Peyton Manning is the only other person to do that. Well, Drew Brees had, Peyton or, uh, Tom Brady had 50. Tom Brady had 50, exactly. But he didn't have the, the 5,000. He didn't have 5,000 yeah. yards. Yeah. And he had, uh, let's see, yeah, Randy Moss, Randy maybe Moss, the best receiver yeah. of all time. Yeah. And he had, Wilker, he had Randy Moss who single handedly accounted for 22 of them. Yeah. Like, no, it was 23. <laughs> 23. And then it was Wilker had like a 10 or something like that. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's. You had, you had arguably the greatest receiver of all time on your team. And people were like, oh, yeah. In the discussion. yeah. And then you had, like, Ty- I mean, people were like, oh, yeah, Tyree Kill. Oh, the, guys you, the guy you just said was a track star the whole yeah. time? Yeah. Okay. His whole, his whole career until last year, Tyree Kill's been a track star. Now, all of a sudden, he's a dangerous star. I didn't see him doing all that. Yeah. He, wasn't doing he all literally that. did it with a, a tight end and a track star. Yeah. That's what he did with. And se- exactly. sometimes Sammy Watkins, depending on if he was hurt. Oh, what do you think yeah. about Kareem Hunt on the Browns? <sighs> Ooh, I, I think That's another one. Like week eight, right? I think week eight. Week eight. Yeah, eight, 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 eight I can see yeah. them. If, let's say they're like about five and three or six and two. And then he comes back. That's going to be carrying the team all the way. And then you got a fresh, brand new running back coming. Oh in. my! That's God. like a, Kareem with, uh, Hunt's going to come in fresh at week eight. C.J. Anderson with the with the Rams oh, last year. Oh, that's how it's going to be again. He reinvigorated that whole offense. Yeah, we messed up with him. Yeah, our fault on that one. Well, we knew that the whole time. We're like, dude, why are we not? using him like on the the garbage the time and the yeah. garbage time or like whenever we were trying to run the clock out I get using McCaffrey as a every down back but like whenever whenever it was like we have a two touchdown lead and we're just running the ball to eat time mm-hmm. up that is what he is yeah let for. him go ground and pound let him get yeah. do his thing that's what he's yeah. for like I don't I, I think there's no way we can justify not using our like I'm not saying we can, we're gonna have to do like a committee type thing but like mm-hmm. You have other running backs on the roster for a reason. Yeah, that's exactly, exactly. why. Yeah, that's why they're there. It's a waste I mean, of money. Well, and a guy like T.J. Anderson is super durable and he's big. He wears and down defense. Yeah. Yeah. Tackle on that guy is exhausting. Well, that open it up for McCaffrey doing that. It does. Yeah. Another yeah. thing that's crazy about the NFC South is we have the running backs. Apparently, insane. apparently the argument on Twitter is for the best running back in the league, and what I've seen is mm-hmm. Kamara. And McCaffrey, like well, it's almost like uh, Saquon's Saquon's like the best runner of the football, Mm. but like the most versatile running back in the league. The argument's either McCaffrey or Kamara. Like, well, like yes, me and him, me and him mm. think it's Kamara. I'm tired of those people. These people that okay, I'm gonna probably piss off most of my Panther (laughs) friends because I talk to them every day on there. But like, they're always like, yeah. Kamara's not even on like McCaffrey's level. I'm like, are you? Sure? He had like one good year last year. Like Kamara, game one he was doing this. Yeah, I would. Game one's a rookie. I would throw in Gurley into that conversation, and that personally, I would pick Gurley over both of them. But
Like, he gets hurt too often. He gets hurt too much, yeah. yeah. So, like, you can't be good unless you play the game. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, exactly. So, like, so McCaffrey had, a, did he have a thousand both ways last year? I think about, yeah. I think he had a thousand both ways last year. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kamara, to me, is like... I don't think I've ever seen anybody do the things he can do. No, like, I, I think Kamara would have more stats because I think career wise, I think Kamara still has more. But this past yeah, year, McCaffrey had more. We well, missed and three or four, three games. Yeah, like and I think he, if he was in this Panthers offense, Kamara would have crazy amount of stats. Like, yeah, that's the thing. If he doesn't get the, the ball, that that's much. the thing I've been telling people. They're like, "Oh, what did Kamara do this year?" I'm like, "Dude, he still had a great year." And yeah, their first year, he he clearly won that. Like, Brees is having games where he's ha- he's throwing the ball to like nine yeah. different like receivers. Yeah, yeah and, like, like, Michael <laughs> Thomas is like. Had like a hundred catches or something. Yeah. Like they yeah. throw more than that. One hundred thirteen, I think, is what he had. That's insane. Kamara, yeah. honestly, I've been saying this for like a couple months now. I feel like if he like was not allowed to play running back anymore, he just could not do it. The league wouldn't let him. If he uh, had to go play as a slot receiver, he'd be he'd like fit in. he would he's start. Good. He could start fun. over most slot receivers. Fun. He said it comes natural to him. Like it just oh, well, just that does one, like he that just one play up. against was it the Eagles? Where y'all it was like fourth and like seven, and you were on your own. Oh, dude, mm-hmm. Yeah, they're only like, throwing 30 and they put Kamara out wide, do a touch. He yeah, freaking like burned his nothing. man and ran a yeah. touch. Yeah. He <laughs> can start in this league at receiver, no doubt. Easily. And, Easily. and also, a kick returner, he is an animal mm-hmm. kick returner. And another thing about Kamara that I really do like, there's zero off the field issues. Yeah, there's yeah, no, none. He's like, he's like, you know, <laughs> any problems you're having? Mm-hmm. There's none. none. There's zero problems. Like, and, and you don't even hear A lot of people like, didn't pick him in the draft because they said they thought he was or something like that. Because he even said, he's like, they didn't want to pick me because I had like a nose ring and like tattoos. And he transferred from Bama, so maybe there's some issues there. Yeah, they're like, but I'm like, the guy's like a model citizen. Like, what are you talking about? And the thing is, like, I don't take this as a bad thing. I don't hear it good or bad. Like, he just, it's like he plays football and then he just goes home. Yeah. And mm-hmm. he just sits there until it's time to go. Oh, you gotta watch that interview. You probably haven't seen this interview where he's in his house and they're interviewing him. It's like the funniest thing ever. Yeah, I have mean, seen Oh, that. it's hilarious. Like, that's, I like players like that. He just, he plays football and then he goes home and he just sits mm-hmm. there until it's time to come back. Well, Zeke, 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 Zeke is my <laughs> personal. He's not out there riding on floats and parades. And yeah, and go, going to the clubs. And, he's oh, not doing yeah. it. Right? Zeke was like my personal favorite running back. Like, he still kind of is, but I'm like, I really thought I'm like dude, I don't think he could break like some of the all time career records. Like I really think if anybody mm-hmm. in the league can do it, he can do it. He won't do it because of him. Like he it, has too many off the field problems. He, he, he won't allow himself to be one of the best of all. Like time. I'm not even gonna lie. The thing of the, the reason I like that about Kamara, like you don't hear any good things like Panthers fan here, but. Like, McCaffrey's like, he joined a band. He's, like, in a band now. I'm like, can you just focus on football? Like, <laughs> Did he relax? Yeah, and he's, like, in a little band and stuff like that. And I'm like, can you just focus on football? Like, <laughs> I, know that, I know that's not a bad thing. It's, yeah. a, it's a positive thing. But I'm like, you're, I feel like you're about to stretch yourself too thin. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, do too much right now. Don't like, do in too your much. Prime. Like, yeah, like, you're, in your prime, focus on football. And that, I was trying to think of a good example of what I meant by he doesn't do good or bad. That's what I mean. Like, mm. McCaffrey's thing is no – it's not a problem. It's just, like – you really got time to be in a band? Yeah, exactly. You're kind of like mm-hmm. the. Are you really? Is this really fair to your bandmates too? If you're going to be mm-hmm. all the time in practice? I mean, seriously, like it's. Don't stretch yourself too thin. Yeah. Don't be mm-hmm. doing too much, and. I'll say it. Like I don't like all these like Russell Wilson going to the freaking hospital all the time, and like mm-hmm. I feel like he's trying to be good. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Oh, I, mean, I, I, I know like, that for a fact. I, don't, I feel like it's not natural. Like, it's super like, force. Like that's mm-hmm. too good. You know. Mm-hmm. Like, just, you have too many eyes on you at that point. Yeah, exactly. Like, just when you just show up and play football and then go home and mind your own business. I I think that's why Kamara is like my favorite running back in the league. Kamara is probably my favorite. Like ta- he's the most unique talent I think I've ever seen. Yeah, I, I've honestly. never seen people who can do the stuff he does. And like, I enjoy look watching. After this. I literally enjoy watching Saints games. Dude, we I, I'll probably hit. I like, watch him every chance I get. Like all the yeah. time when we're hanging out, I'll just be like, let's watch Alvin Kamara highlights again. That stuff yeah, he exactly. does, I have never seen before. Like he does this uncanny thing where it's like when he gets, you cannot hit him. Like yeah. Like, like, when that you one, hit him, he bounces off of That him. one play where Shaq Thompson hit him at the goal line. Which, by the way, is he, like our hardest hitter. He yeah. laid the lumber on that dude. <laughs> and Kamara just bounced right off of him for a like, touchdown. Yep. Like, he, he never hits it. The thing with Kamara is you never get that lights out hit on him ever. The only one no. I can think of is the Cowboys one, and that was highly illegal. Yeah, exactly. That's it, yeah. though. Mm-hmm. You literally got to hit the man illegally. And him, him working the sideline is ridiculous. Like, he's just on a tight rope, just like cruising down the sideline. Like, his agility is well, he runs. He runs. Loosely, like not in a bad way. Yeah. But like I feel like some of these guys, they when they run real tight and yeah. like they're, you know, they're it almost looks dude. effortless. Yeah, the way like, he runs. Yeah, like just, Le'Veon you know, runs a little too high up for me. Like mm-hmm. I feel like that's kind of like his think, earlier injuries. Yeah. I feel like he's prone to like those low hits like that. You heard, and kind of girly too a little bit. You ever, yeah. You ever heard people talk about like this is kind of like a weird correlation, but it's the only correlation I can think of to make this sound right. So I apologize. You ever heard about how people talk about 
if like a drunk driver wrecks and they're drunk and they're relaxed, that's why they don't get hurt. Mm. Like that's kind of how Kamara runs. Like he doesn't worry about getting hurt yeah. or tackled. Mm. And I feel like that's why you can't tackle because like, because you're loose. Like some guys are like too concentrated on like juking or like trucking somebody mm. and they get dragged down. Like Kamara's yeah. just like I'm just gonna run the ball and I'm going for a touchdown. And I'm yeah. going to the end zone. Like yeah, mm-hmm. there might be things that's in my way. That kind of makes sense. Yeah. He keeps himself about unpredictable like, because some running backs you know they're gonna go for that truck. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. And so it's just a matter of fact of like who wants them more. He can do both. Yeah. He can do both of them. He can. A lot of things you don't know what you're gonna get. He can put out you on skates or he can run you over. Yeah, a lot of people think he's like this like scat back. Like he's not that big. He's actually way he's bigger than you think. Yeah. He's like six foot, like two. Mm. Twenty or something. Yeah. Like, he but just kind of doesn't look it. He run, That's what yeah. I meant by loose when I said he runs loosely. Like he just like he just moves with the hit perfectly. Mm. If somebody tries to hit, him. I think he and uh, McCaffrey are probably the most versatile yeah. running backs, like yeah. in the league. Yeah, and, and also Devontae Freeman since his NFC, like oh. he's kind of like kind of been forgotten. Like these he hasn't played. Oh, yeah. He hasn't really played the last two years. Like so. Devontae yeah. Freeman is like his year in twenty fifteen. He like. Was like leading the league of rushing them. Oh man, that's a, year. that's a big hit to the Falcons. Though, now that you're talking about that, Tevin Coleman, Tevin Coleman gone. That's yeah. a big mm. hit. That's a big hit. They don't have that one-two punch no more. I mean, that's really where they got that mean. That's really where they got that established running game from. Yeah. The, one, the double running back system. Did they pick up anybody else to replace uh, that, or are they no. just like Devontae Freeman? Either said him like it's Devontae Freeman. Yeah, now. it's all him. So one, <laughs> one, one I mean, show. it's not like they, they got now. The that's somebody. Now that's somebody who's a small back. Yeah. He's a he's small a back. Tiny guy. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's not quite McCaffrey small, but he's a small back. McCaffrey's, uh, also, McCaffrey's proven that he's extremely durable for his size. Well, he's like way bigger than Cohen Peter. with the Bears. He's pretty small. He is he's crazy small. Tiny. Who? Cohen with the Bears. Oh, yeah. Tariq Cohen is like my favorite. That's like, his favorite. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I, I picked him in fantasy, but I, I like said my pick too early. Yeah. And, I, and it was like somebody else's turn, and I was like, oh, and it was like the last round. So I was like, <laughs> oh, I got to steal. Like, nobody's going to know. And then he was like, uh, uh, it's actually, everybody's like, it's his turn. And then he was like, I'll just take Tariq Cohen. Dang, yeah, that's, that's a good pickup. Ah, my, first like, ah, picks, my first two picks in fantasy last year was uh, Kamara and then, uh, or no, it was McCaffrey then and Kamara. Oh, that was my first you probably picks. won, right? Yeah, I won my fantasy. I did. Yeah. yeah, there's no way you did. <laughs> yeah. You can get in on our FanDuel if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's going to oh, be great. Like a weekly where you pick it every week. I don't even yeah. talk about fantasy last year. Yeah. You see Levy on Belly over there? Hmm? Uh, on Twitter. He yeah, put, oh, yeah, he yeah. put on Twitter, I apologize to all my fantasy players from last year. I promise if you draft me this year, it would be a different outcome. Yeah, I had somebody in my fantasy league. They drafted Le'Veon Bell. Super. They, they were, him, they in, were our league, in our league, I had the first pick and I drafted him. Wow. First pick. See, in our league. And we do a snake draft, so I picked oh, him. Wow. We had a 10 man league, so it went to 10 and then it went 10, 9, 8, 7. So I didn't get yeah, picked. Back, my first yeah. player didn't play, was pick 20. <laughs> first player. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. The person who picked Le'Veon in our league, he kept him as a starter out of uh, out of just like rebellion. He was just like, I'm keeping I'm him putting as a him starter. In, I'm putting him in. I'm putting him in. Exactly. I'm not wasting my pick. I'm yeah. getting zero points. <laughs> Oh man, I was like having to fight each week. I was having to go look on the waivers. Yeah, and, like, fight each and every week. Because <laughs> you know if you drop get him, him, you're gonna say he's gonna come back and somebody else. Oh, gonna use him. I, I, I left him. I left him on my bench till it was week because it was it was week eleven where he then he, he wasn't allowed to come back. Yeah, that's right. I, I kept him until then. Like mm-hmm. I kept him the, the whole time. The hardest thing last year was finding tight ends. I feel like tight ends were tight ends so thin. It was yeah. like oh yeah. you don't have Hurts or Kelsey. All right, you're screwed then. Yeah, and well, then, or Kittle, Kittle too. And then Olsen people he got hurt game one and then he came back like game five. And Gronk yeah. the same way. Gronk mm-hmm. and also yeah. I drafted like, Gronk high. Gronk I got him high. super high. Dude. Oh my yeah, god! I got him really high. I had him crazy high the year before. I got him in like the second round because I'm like I always lose because I have everything else perfect. My tight end sucks. Mm-hmm. So I'm like just get like the best tight end. And player. every week you're sitting there thinking like, is he actually gonna play? Is he gonna do you know Gronk things? And and some weeks I don't start because I had Kittle as well and I got somebody else off a waiver. Oh, that's the worst. And so it was like I couldn't decide. And then one game where I finally benched him, he would like have three touchdowns against the Jets, and I'm like ah. This is you can't you can't make it. I can't live like this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fantasy <laughs> causes of major headaches. It's uh, <laughs> probably the most high stress thing I've ever yeah. been a part of. <laughs> it's terrible. It it's, is. it's awful. When you're sitting there and you're just like, oh my god, like I need five points and I'm the only person. Yeah. It's like a Monday night, <laughs> and you need five points and it's like a tight end and you're yeah. like. All right, we can do this. I was like, get <laughs> like that long reception. I probably won't. Like, yeah, at least a good chunk of that. Guy. I've been sitting there needing ten points and the last person to play is my kicker. And if you need a kicker, go ahead and get your Justin Tucker. Oh, man. Hey, he'll go for you. I'll tell you what you don't get. That's Graham Gano. You don't get that, man. No. <laughs> we've officially cut ties with Graham Gano. <laughs> the Panthers haven't, but in, in this household, we've cut ties done. with Graham Gano. Done. It's over. <laughs> we defended him longer than everybody else. So we I'm hung on. Done. I'm seriously, we hung on until literally it was impossible to hang on. I think Graham Gano, he for sure, he's a kickoff specialist. 
For sure. That's why I nailed the 62 <laughs> yarder because he was yeah. like, oh, this is a kickoff? My, okay, I'll just kick it real quick. <laughs> kickoff style. But the consistency is oh, consistency yeah. just, it's just something. It was a game I sure you missed two extra points. In the I'd game. rather have him than Parky, though. I feel like <laughs> everybody, I feel like Parky would rather have him than yeah. himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But we we got to talk at least about the Falcons receivers, like besides Julio, like Calvin, Calvin Ridley, Ridley and the Sanu. Calvin Ridley, mm-hmm. I love Calvin Ridley. I love Ridley. Yeah, they're they're, I love him. they're yeah. and, and uh, even like their tight end and all like they have this crazy lineup mm-hmm. on offense. Yeah, I, I like Calvin Ridley a lot. I really like that kid. Calvin. He was he started off last year as like it, like I remember when the season started. We were looking at each other and we were like. We should have drafted him. Because like, he was rookie right. last year, right? Yeah. yeah he almost like, played as if he's been in the league. Yeah, like, like, he, he, like he started off and he had like two touchdowns in the first three games. Yeah. And it was like. Mm-hmm. He had three touchdowns in one game, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I had him in uh, my bench. And then we were sitting there and we were like, <laughs> we were like oh, man, we got DJ Moore instead of him. Like, <sighs> I think DJ Moore is better for what we do. For what yeah. we do, DJ Moore. Yeah. We found out at, towards the end of the season, we learned that, okay, for what we're trying to do, DJ Moore fits our system way better, but. As long as he developed like this off season, like Cal- route, route running and like Calvin Cal- Ridley, though he could be the next Percy Harvin, in my opinion. Mm, I think yeah. DJ Moore is, has the exact same skill set. Being very like that, he's yeah. powerful. He, he can honestly put him in the like running back position. Definitely see a little bit of Steve Smith like in him. Yeah, definitely. Like, definitely. Do the, I think do the Falcons have the best receivers in the league? Either them or the Chiefs. The uh, Chiefs are actually the best. Mm-hmm. But like the things that they can do, like they're not the actual best receivers. That's not what I think. The actual thing. best receivers are the Falcons. I think the actual Falcons. best purebred receivers are the Falcons and Alex. Sanu, yeah. Ridley, Jones. Can I stop right there? Like, yeah. I think mm-hmm. I made my point. The thing I, I mean, I could argue o, uh, OBJ and, and, and Jones. Jones. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, that's pretty strong. But it's not a fair. I like player. the Chiefs because they have like Tyree Kill, and he's like, well, I don't even think they even have Sammy Watkins anymore. No, they don't. But like mm-hmm. when they had him and Sammy Watkins, and they had Kelsey, oh, and man. they had Kareem Hunt, yeah. like just the not really the receivers, but like just you can throw it to any one of them, and you can honestly hand it off to anyone. And of they even have like Chris like, Conley. <laughs> Chris Conley's like the big tall receiver. Nobody you got to throw the Saints in there then. The yeah. Saints have to be Ted there. Ginn, Michael Thomas, the freaking uh, Camara. I mm-hmm. mean, yeah, you yeah, got yeah, to I'll put him as a receiver. He's a receiver. Yeah. You got to throw him in there. And then you got Drew. Rob. And then the thing is with that is you got Drew Brees throwing those guys. The ball. Yeah, he ain't like, throwing anybody. It's not Matt. Like respect to Matt Ryan, but Matt Ryan's not Drew Brees. Baker Mayfield's definitely not Drew Brees. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, see, I, do, I do see a Mahomes, little bit of Drew Brees in Mayfield. Mahomes, I see a little bit of only, Marv, a little Yeah, bit. yeah. Our only our only sample size of Mahomes, he's Drew Brees, but we only have one sample size. Like yeah. it's just one. Mahomes so, to me it has to be. Just based off of last season is who I think is the best quarterback right now. He has Ro- he has Rodgers all over him, like Rodgers and Favre. Uh, he him. has Rodgers <laughs> and all the good things about Favre, not none of the none of bad decision making. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He had you know what his you know what his touchdown to interception ratio was. We were looking at the other day, we were blown away. What was it? Fifty to twelve. Because people were like, oh, he's fifty <laughs> touchdowns. He probably threw like decent amount. Like, Twenty interceptions. Yeah. Because like, people when they were saying the Drew Brees MVP case, they're like, well, he's been more efficient. No, fifty touchdowns, twelve interceptions. Yeah. Like that's efficient. That's, that's a higher volume. That is like. extremely efficient. <laughs> yeah. That, that is, is crazy. And the way he like throws across his body and mm, like, throw so passes, endless. he'll switch like mid run and toss one with his left. Yeah. We've never yeah. seen things like this. The, 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 no, the no look, look like I didn't really start. I, I was. I like the no look when it happened, but I was watching highlights the other day, and I'm like, that no look. He legit was looking this way. Like, yeah. He was looking this way and was like, and, you know, <laughs> that's like what my dad does. He hit the man in stride. In stride, perfect pass. Yeah, like, he hit him in stride. That's it's like effortless. something to do with it. Like, my dad would do that when you throw the football. He'll just throw just it. Just as a joke. Like, I think his, it like his baseball stage. influence is really what helps it's, him with that. It, I feel like a lot of people, it hurts him, but him, no. no not at all. Not at all. It doesn't hurt him at all. I love, I am a... Big time Mahomes fan. Like, I'm I think I, I love fan. watching Mahomes. I'm like, dude, this is like, we're witnessing like greatness right now. Yeah. <laughs> Last year in fantasy, that was supposed to be my third pick. I was just like thinking in my head, I was like, nobody's going to get Dwight, this guy. I was like, crazy I was like, crazy I was like nobody's going to get him. Did you get him? No, I didn't get him. Somebody picked him up. I was like, nobody's going to get him. Drafting him in the third yeah. round, honestly, it's crazy to think about it just a year ago now, but that would be kind of like. Yeah, I was thinking two people would have was, that idea. It was risky. Like I was thinking, my head, should I do it? Should I not do it? And I was like, I'm gonna pull the trigger. Like he's starting now. Alex Smith is gone. I was like, this kid's pretty good. And yeah, he he's gonna produce something. Yeah. I mean, the so, thing is, like, that was, that was, that would have been amazing to have that, them oh, and Kamara right. and and uh, McCaffrey. You would have. Well, I mean, you already said you won, but. No <laughs> question. Undefeated, yeah. Undefeated, easy. I did start off my season rocky. I lost like the first like three, and then I just started winning after that. It was. Light work after that. <laughs> Light work. <laughs> so we got, well, I guess we got to talk about the Bucks a little bit. We got, yeah, they deserve yeah. to be talking about. Because I, I hate when people are just are like, oh, everybody else is good and they suck. They don't. Mm-hmm. It's just they a really tough division. It's a super <laughs> tough division. Yeah
That is like one of my favorite, mm. one of my favorite linebackers. Like he doesn't get that much credit. He doesn't either. get any credit. Yeah, and, but they did lose Quan Alexander, who is that's my big. other one of my other favorites. That's mm-hmm. pretty. That's big. And they, along with Jerry McCoy, like they lost yeah. a lot. They lost and with Deshaun they Jackson lost, as well. They lost some staple staple players. Just like I think, staple players. I think Deshaun Jackson's this is, loss of Deshaun Jackson is huge. I feel like this is uh, all of the offenses. Mm-hmm. He didn't even want to be there anymore. Yeah. Too. Mm-hmm. This is the last year on Winston's contract, right? I think Carson. So. Carson Wentz? Oh, uh, James Winston. Winston. James yeah. Winston, yeah. yeah. He came in since 2015, so it has to be, has right? has to be. He was a first-round draft pick, four-year contract. Well, maybe. How has he not already got re-signed? 15? I think he's on his fifth-year option or something like that. Either he's on no, his option. No, they were, I think, I think 15, 16, 17, 8. Because remember they were saying, remember when they were benching him last year and they were saying oh, they'd they, be a risk? Or, they had the, they had the, they had the fifth year. They had the fifth year. Yeah. Because I remember last year before the season started, there was that uh There was like, Uber, why would you put him in? Like, he, if he gets hurt, he gets paid $20 million, but if he doesn't, or something like that. Yeah. It was like that Uber thing he had with the, you know, oh, yeah. I don't want to get into it, but the Uber situation mm. happened like right before the season, so that's when Ryan Fitzpatrick took over. And, yeah. And they were like, we got a fifth year, this guy to see how he does this off season. So yeah. I think he had some court, court did, problems. What did they do year. then? They just re him to like one year or something? Uh, they, they just picked up his fifth, fifth yeah, year. Fifth year oh, oh, that started this year. Yeah. That's this. It, that's this 15, season. 16, yeah, this, this is this is going to be his season that decides everything. Yeah, okay. So he much. came in 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah. 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 So it's yeah. Gonna this, be, this year, he's, he's got, got Bruce Arians. This is now. Right? Yeah. It's exactly. now or never. It's literally now or never. And if he doesn't this could, produce, this could end his NFL career. He'll end up like Josh Freeman. Yeah, this could, end, this could end this career. Yeah, they're, yeah. Like, they're like, you've had way more than one problem. Like, you've had Mike you know, Evans, you've had Godwin, you've had, you've had some had really good great weapons. Great weapons, decent running back, mm-hmm. good enough, good enough to do what you need to do. I will say, when they kept holding on to Doug Martin, I'm like, can we stop? He was good in 2012, yeah. <laughs> he hasn't done literally anything since except fail PDs and like, mm-hmm. get hurt. And, like, yeah, they're just trying too much to hang on to him. Like, dude, he was good like six years ago. Like, yeah. <laughs> but... Pretty solid defense there for a little while. I mean, it's like, dude, you had all the tools. Like, mm. you should have been winning a lot more games than you were winning. I like Jameis Winston a lot. I like him. I think yeah, I so love stuff he does. Yeah, I know I what you think. It's just it, bad opportunity, just bad fit, I feel like. It's not good. Some guys just aren't cut out for the NFL, though. Well, yeah. some, I, I, honestly, some of it I feel like is just like that culture just might not be a good fit, fit for him. him. Like, mm-hmm. I just, I don't know, like... He, he definitely could be a good backup anywhere he goes. Yeah. No, no quite. He'll be a dangerous he, he, To me, he's in the same tier as Mariota and Tannehill. And it's just kind of questionable on whether if like they can really like lead their team to be something like throughout the regular season. Like it's just I think that I think you might be right. I mean, because yeah. my thing is Fitzpatrick come in and does a number one offense in the league last year. Yeah, mm-hmm. which he did collapse eventually. Like I think people are getting a little overzealous with like, oh, he's a crazy good. It's like dude, what was he's it? one of those guys that's like he, Josh McCown. Like he is a great backup, but like when you full on give him the reins, I feel like things go wrong. Yeah. The man had mm-hmm. roughly like eight touchdowns for the first three games. He took off like the first like half of the season. Everybody was like, what? he threw three hundred yards the first two weeks. And yeah, I was like, <laughs> what is going I on? I knew that wouldn't last like that, but it, 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 it does. lasted long. Longer than we thought it would. It, it did make Jameis Winston's case even harder. It was, uh, it was I think, like, the first game of the yeah, season that, they that played the Saints, was it? Yeah, yeah. yeah and that was hurt, like, here we go again. It's like, oh my god! They just started the Saints the first yeah, week. I, I thought we're like, having a bad year. I was like, ah, oh, crap! I'm gonna stop watching football. Like, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turning it off. I remember yeah. I was like, they will not do that. Like in week like ten, I'm like, good one. Like, yeah. like I had predicted the Saints to like win, lose only like three or four games that year, and I was like, all right, they're gonna be really good this year. I was like, I can see three losses. They've already got one. Yeah. And then they lost 10 minutes. I was like, oh, God. They did. They started off 0-2, and, and they just went on 2 yeah. didn't they? Mm, that's how it was. And then, uh, but yeah, I mean, we played them, I think the Panthers played them like week 6 or something like that. And through week 6, they were still the number one offense in the league. And yeah. we, we beat them, and then the second time we played them, I think they just destroyed us because Cam yeah. Soto was super nah. messed up mm-hmm. by then. <sighs> yeah. I mean, as long, this coming up here, Cam stays healthy. It can be very y'all, say, dangerous. y'all were saying he was good at FanFest, right? Yeah, oh, dude, he, he was, was making very, great. I was, tell, yeah. I was telling Michael, I'm like, I mean, I was kind of talking to some people while I was watching all that, but like from what I was watching, I think he made. Every, I think every throw was either completed or it was a drop pass mm. for at least yeah. a he long. He was pinpointing all of them. Like yeah. pretty much every pass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the biggest thing is, I didn't see any type of discomfort or like it looked awkward natural. throwing or nothing like that. Like it was all all the receivers mm-hmm. were creating mad separation, mm-hmm. like easy. It was almost like is our defense like had problems, but those yeah. drills are designed for the They're offense. They're designed for the offense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. So, who's going to win the division this year? I think it's gonna be. Uh, I think I really just. I'm like just anybody but the Bucks. I, I think the Bucks are gonna be last. 
I think. I, think, I, I agree with that. In third place, I think it's going to be the Falcons. I think they, they're going to battle for a uh, wild card playoff spot. I think this, this division, and, no doubt, sends multiple teams. Yeah, I think, yeah, exactly. I think the Saints and the Panthers get into the into the playoffs. I think the Panthers win the division. I think, really? Yeah, I think they do. I think because they just have, they're too healthy right now. They're too healthy, too many weapons. On I, all think it, I think it's. I want to I wanna look at the schedule. The Panthers' schedule and see they, see when our last because I think we play all the last, oh, last game. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So it could come I'll, down I'll to the. I got all my screen. All my oh, last yeah. screen is the schedule. Oh. <laughs> so the last game of the season could yeah. get possibly flexed to the eighth. Oh, game it will. Oh, it will. that right. Oh, you heard it here first. The last game of the season is right. What is it right now? One o'clock. One o'clock on Sunday. December what? 29th. That will one hundred percent be Sunday flexed. night. I yeah. guarantee so that, that'll be flexed. I, my prediction is. I've been thinking this the whole time. But my prediction is going to be it's going to come down to the last game of the season. Yeah. I think. I think oh, it'll. Big facts. I'm I right. think. I think both those teams are so good, mm. which the Falcons are good too. I think the Falcons will be have a positive record. I think they'll be above. Dude, the I point. think all yeah. three of these teams can go like. And that's why the Falcons. The, Falcon, the Falcons could sneak in and win the yeah. division. By the way, like yeah. just heads up, they could win the division. Right? Mm. But yeah. I think if I'm going for a correct pickness, I think it'll be come down to that last game, and they'll flex it. And they'll, Oh yeah! So one thing game. I can guarantee is that that game will be flex. I can guarantee <laughs> that will be flex. If everybody's healthy, nobody's hurt. I don't know what yeah. the hell is eight thirty that day, but I know it's not. As good I know it's not. I think it's that. possible yeah. that we play each other three times this year. Oh, I'm just gonna play. Very possible. It could be the NFC Championship. Yeah, right? I can see it. it could be. Yeah, because <laughs> the NFC is talking about BOA. Oh, we're so going. Because I'm not super impressed by the other NFC teams like the Vikings. I'm not impressed. by I was so impressed by them like two years ago. But yeah, I think they're, it fell they off had so their, they had their window. I think it's over. The only team I'm really worried about is like the Eagles because I just think that Carson Wentz. I think he's going to be healthy. I don't think he needs. The he, defense is crazy. Yeah, he doesn't need anything special. Oh, you know what? Play. They have so, I forgot they do the thing now where they don't do any eight thirty games on the last last member the last week of the season now. Oh, that was so oh, wack. They don't do that. that. They've done that what, like two years ago. They started mm. doing that. No, they're, they're, they're making an exception. They'll be that so play. right now. The last game, the last game to come can. on, the last game to come on right now is the Raiders and the Broncos at four thirty. No, they're gonna move us eight thirty. Yeah, break the rule. Break the rule. That's something they need to do. I I can also see uh, Green Bay playing well because. I mean, I'm an Aaron Rodgers guy. Oh, you yeah, yeah, Aaron Rodgers since yeah. high school. And, yeah. and, and I mean, Patrick Mahomes is nice and all, but yeah, you know, slowly roll. You know, you know what I'm saying? That's like, kind of invented that whole play style. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like Aaron Rodgers, and everything is so precise, so clean. All he needs is receivers that can just. Okay, I've been seeing this narrative on. I'm, I'm probably gonna piss off some people, but mm-hmm. on Twitter, I cannot stand this. Like, they keep saying Devontae Adams is underrated, but everyone says that, so is he really underrated? And they're exactly. saying he's a yeah. top five receiver, and some people are saying he's a top three receiver. No, that uh, is a lie. I give him top ten. That I is a lie. I think back top, in ten. top ten. Dude, but like, top five, Odell, mm-hmm. Brown, Julio, yeah. Michael Thomas, yeah. Mike Evans, Mike, Mike Evans, Evans yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hopkins. 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 Yeah. Hopkins, first of all, probably should be number one or two. Yeah, because his hands are ridiculous. Like, they he, are he, ridiculous. He's not, he's not, he's, he's, he, until until Deshaun Watson, who are his quarterbacks? Mm. Seriously, I mean uh, Tom Savage Tom and like Brock Osweiler, and <laughs> Brock Osweiler, Matt Schaub. Yeah, yeah, I mean come on now, that dude was a threat back then. I mean he was yeah. dangerous, mm-hmm. super dangerous. His hands are just ridiculous. He's not super he is strong, not top, but he's not a top three. He's probably not a top five. Like mm-hmm. yeah. I don't think the yeah, I think yeah, I think yeah, Adams is like top yeah. ten. I don't I think he's like the sixth or seventh. I don't think he's like top three. Like I see all these people online being like, oh he's top three. I'm tired of the Adams nah, disrespect. I'm nah, like yeah. he has Aaron Rodgers. Stop. No, no exactly. doubt no doubt he's a top ten, no doubt about it, but top three or five? Mm. Come on. I put him are so I put good him right like now. I put him at like somewhere right around eight. Right yeah. around there. He's definitely not like the tenth, you know. He's, I'm not going to give him that much disrespect. He's good. He's not bad, but top five. P- people top don't three, respect three. Should uh, be out of the question. One well, person I will say people sleep on is uh, Keenan Allen. People oh sleep yeah, on Keenan Allen. Yeah. Yeah. sleep on Keenan yeah. Allen. He's been good the whole. So yeah, the whole exactly. time. He's been good the whole time. He's either like top five in like most statistics or like hurt all year. That's the all. Chargers. Year. That's an interesting situation too. Because Melvin Gordon's demanding a trade. Is he doing that now? I I thought he was just Friday, up, Friday, he officially yeah. demanded a trade. I don't blame him though. No, because, absolutely. Because they're using him so much. Like he is the offense outside of Philip Rivers. Like yeah. it's him. That's it. Dude, I had him in fantasy last year. Guaranteed twenty. Like yeah. guaranteed twenty. Yeah. Yeah. That's like yeah. He's he officially on Fridays. Him and his agent. We demand the trade. And he's a fragile guy to be honest. He's like he. His knee is always yeah, messed up. Exactly. So, like, I can see him getting hurt. So the Chargers who were looking like Super Bowl contenders last year. People are saying the Bucks might go for him. Dude, Ooh. they are legit right yeah. there if they do that. Right there, this whole video means nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Look at 
burn the whole. Like, we might we might have to just recant this whole video. Yeah, <laughs> like if you put Jameis Winston with him and he had because the one thing I will say I'm not trying to make excuses for Jameis Winston, but they really have not had a consistent running game with him uh, most years. Yeah. They have not. They held on to Doug Martin too long. They had all these like guys that you never heard of on all these. You know, they never had that bunch, legit, of, bunch of filler running backs. Yeah, mm -hmm. like if you got a legitimate dual threat running back like Melvin Gordon and you have Bruce Arians that sit there and. Mold run up. that offense. That would be an That'd insane. Be yeah, they would be immediately like because a running back can really change your your team now. Like for it's not even a quarterback. A mobile gives quarterback you, like him, safety blanket. Yeah, yeah. exactly. My uh, pick, my pick for the division. I think I'll go with the movie. I think it's the Panthers. Yeah. I think the Panthers will win it, but I really think the Saints and the Panthers. It's will no go. doubt in my opinion. It's no question between those two teams. I, the two teams are definitely making playoffs in the NFC South. Yeah, it's. I think. It's, I, I think yeah, I, I, I want to say a guarantee. And a possible three. I honestly would not be shocked if mm. three. Yeah. Did we, we do that? Did we do that like two years ago? We did that. Yeah, we did mm -hmm. in twenty seventeen. I think. Yeah, yeah, we did that. Three freaking teams out of one division? That's yeah. ridiculous. Basically, the, the whole point of the video is I don't want to hear any more that NFC South isn't legit. No. I mean, no that. In this video, all these names we've thrown around that are just in the NFC South, if, if that doesn't prove something, then you just, you're just you an ignorant football fan. Yeah. You're just, <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. It. That's it. I mean, it's just crazy. One one bold prediction I have about the AFC East is that the Jets, the Jets do something. Sneak away? Yeah, they sneak away with the playoff spot, I think. You think, I think so? Sam Darnold well, with, with Le'Veon Bell, C.J. Mosley on the defensive end. I think oh, they, I get, I get they got C.J. Mosley. I think they get a wild card spot. They upset the Patriots at in the in the regular season. They won a game in the regular season. Oh, I think yeah. they usually like, yeah. at least, mm -hmm. or at least in them or the Dolphins usually. Mm -hmm. won. I bet it'll be them. They were on the. Yeah. They've been on the. And they got the, Robbie the, the playoffs yeah. the past couple years though, right? Haven't they been just right on the brink yeah. of making the playoffs exactly. the past few years? Like Robbie Anderson and Le'Veon on the same team. That is. Problems. I think they got the coach and they got the front office. They're all settled down now. There's nothing crazy like like Tampa Bay is still a little. They got a lot of sort of. Even the Browns is still a little, a little crazy there. The front office, but I think the, Jets. the I think the Browns won that division though. Seriously, yeah. I, I'm sticking to that. I think they won that division. I think the Ravens might win that division too. I, uh, the only reason I the Ravens the are Ravens. like perfectly like all they have to do is do what they did last year. Mm -hmm. And I think they can be. They could send two, multiple teams to the playoffs too. I wouldn't be shocked. They just need Lamar Jackson to to not hesitate on anything. Like let him just go. Let him lose. Let him do whatever. Yeah, like you know, what's really crazy about this football season though is Nick Foles is the starting quarterback in Jacksonville. Yeah, that reshapes Jacksonville. <laughs> that makes him like finally like okay. I, I'm not gonna say he's like a top like ten quarterback, mm. but I mean. They have a pass. He's game. a Super Bowl yeah. MVP, is what he is. Mm -hmm. I mean, like it or love it. What makes it dangerous is that Tom Coughlin's down there in Jacksonville, and yeah. he he can win with the quarterback. Like he knows he he's one to one with Eli, so he knows how. <laughs> he to, knows what to do. He knows yeah, how to be the Patriots too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and then in Miami, you got uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick and Josh. Josh Allen or Josh Rosen? Rosen. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Rosen guy. Fighting for the Rosen, Rosen guy. I haven't met a Rosen guy. But I, I, I like because because he's smooth with he it. Fair, he didn't get a fair shake in Arizona. Yeah, exactly. He didn't get a fair he shake at all. Coach changed halfway through the season. Yeah. It wasn't coordinated. They have nothing going right in Arizona. Like he had all. some uh, comeback wins in Arizona. Some. I mean, he did have some turnover issues, but like he's he's progressed throughout the season. And I think the way he throws the ball and like how he settles in the pocket. Is really yeah. good. Yeah. What about what about Kyler Murray? Let me hear it. I don't Kyler think Murray is like. I don't think I just don't see it. I don't get it. He's like a shorter, shorter, smaller, but a little bit faster version of Mahomes. I feel like. I, just, I think he'll be all right. I think he'll be. I okay. think he'll be good, but I just I don't believe in. I don't think he's gonna be like throwing thirty touchdowns. Oh uh, no, no, I don't think that. No. The hype, I think, is too high. Like he'll, I don't think he'll live up to the hype he's got around. Because you gotta think, remember, he doesn't have weapons. Be, I think he'll be fine. He does not have any weapons. Larry right Fitzgerald. Larry Fitzgerald. Larry Fitzgerald. Larry Fitzgerald. That's it. What's Larry yeah. Fitzgerald running forty times now? Like yeah. Eight, eight three. <laughs> <laughs> he's <laughs> the best best hands in the NFL Larry, ever. I think. He's like Vince Carter, the NBA. Like honestly, yeah, I mean, they're out there in age. Like I love. He kind of is. I love Larry Fitzgerald. Honestly, Larry Fitzgerald. In my opinion, is the most underrated receiver. Maybe mm. he's on like, his team. Like I'm talking, player. like in ever. Yeah, so yeah. Mm. But that's his best receiver. I mean, yeah. So like they, this league, this lot. league is getting the league. This is this is the biggest yeah. changing the league's ever had. Like, yeah. The league's never been just flipped up, flipped on its head. Like, yeah. You got Antonio yeah. Brown not on the Steelers anymore. You got he's on the same team as Montez Burfitt. Him and Montez Burfitt are teammates now. Yeah, you got color. Yeah, they literally caused fights on the field because because their teams were hated so much. Of those two players yeah. hate each other so much, now they're teammates. <laughs> they can redirect that hate to all the other 34 teams. <sighs> yeah, oh. And they got a decent quarterback. Did, I wish they Their car's decent. think the Steelers play the Raiders? I don't think they do, but I wish they did. We got to find out. We can out. check it out, yeah. <laughs> can you imagine how awesome that game would be? It would be great. Because the Steelers, 
the Steelers have, I think, for, for last year, they had the best offense and defensive line, I think. Last Their line is insane. Like, I don't think that patient running style is going to work on the Jets. That's what helped them a lot, uh, not having Le'Veon. That made it so easy. And James Conner is the truth. Yeah. Now they don't play Oakland. Yeah. Damn, why well, who made the schedule and didn't put that on there? Like, that would have been a great game to watch. So they should have even at least they play, play the Ravens, season. do you think, maybe? Uh, the, the Raiders? Or the, uh, the do you think the Raiders play the... Uh, Bengals. The Bengals, at least? Let's see. That would be cool. Oh, Louis Holmes, not playing. <laughs> what was this, like, the 6S? Uh, 7 plus. Oh, okay. I know, 8 plus. Well, Louis Holmes not working. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's spasm. Who are we looking for? The Raiders, right? Yeah, I don't think they him. Nah, I don't see him. Yeah, he's right there. Oh, there we go, yeah. The big goes in the Raiders. At least we'll get to see uh, Vontaze Griffin facing his old team. Yeah, I mean, if he doesn't get suspended before then. Yeah, that, that's, <laughs> like, yeah that's, that's, that's deep into the season. Yeah. <laughs> that's like week 10. He might not make it that far. So. Oh, another thing that we forgot about the Bucks is uh, Ndamukong Sue. I think they got him. Yeah, they did. Oh, they picked him up? Yeah, yeah okay. Him up. okay. So, so that'll uh, help. That'll help. A lot of Bucks and they, gave him, they gave him 93. They gave him Gerald McCoy's number. Okay. Oh, before, before, before Gerald McCoy was officially with the Panthers, they gave him Ndamukong Sue 93. Wow. They were basically saying, hey, go to the Panthers and really yeah. just come back. And they said, we don't need you. We're good. <laughs> Dude, and we play them twice this season? Oh, my God. Wow. That's a London game, too, by the way. That's oh, yeah, it is. I hate how they're doing that. We have to get up at, like, 8 o'clock or something to watch it. Yeah. Have you seen those uh, London packages? You can you can buy like a package to go to the game. Yeah, they were sending us flight, your hotel, yeah, your ticket. Exactly, yeah. You can buy it on the Panthers website. Yeah, yeah I saw. Oh, that. they were there giving away a fan post, probably. Probably. That fan was the one doing it because he's from yeah. London. Yeah. Oh, probably. dude. The, if if anybody watched All or Nothing, when he went back, he went to London on the bye week. Mm. It was Panthers jerseys. Everywhere. All over the street. <laughs> probably like, has, like, 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 if you watch the London games, or if I watched a couple of them, it's like they're not. They don't have like a team that they're loyal to. Mm. It's just like you look in the stands and you see like it could be like the the Dolphins and the Titans playing, and mm -hmm. you'll see like Brady jerseys, Rogers jerseys, yeah. like, like, you know. All the popular. You see ones. all of them. I feel like when the Panthers go over there, just because of FA Obata, I feel like there's going to be a lot of Panthers yeah. jerseys, like mm -hmm. just to support him. Maybe yeah, not, maybe about, like, not even necessarily the, the team, Panthers, but like him in general. I yeah. think it's going to be the most like. Team specific crowd we've ever seen. Mm. Like. His jersey sales probably gonna go up that weekend. Super yeah. high. <laughs> They'll be crazy high yeah. in London. They're probably gonna be just crazy high this season, just the whole season because they're coming there. Mm. But yeah, I like this video. Yeah, I won't get it too long because I'm yeah. probably, probably won't an hour. <laughs> it's probably been an hour. Yeah, honestly, I didn't even realize. They'll probably have to strip the audio, put it on the podcast because it's so long too. Yeah. We'll, we'll have the video up too, but. That was All good. Right, yeah. That was fun. We'll Panthers are okay again. for the NFC South. Yep. Okay. Mm. Yeah, across the board. Across the board. Definitely could be the Saints, though. I don't want to... I, I said the Panthers, I, 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 I wasn't, people, like, I wasn't 100% I, about it. I don't all. want people to think I'm picking the Panthers just because I'm a Panthers fan. Like, that's... I just think they're going to be the strongest going into the season and the most healthy with the most weapons. That's wait, it. Wait, let's, let's do a winner of each uh, division you guys got. Okay. So, NFC West, I, I say the 49ers. I think the Seahawks will win. Rams. Seahawks, Rams. Those are the, honestly, those, it's up for grabs. It's really... That's a tough yeah. game. Because Seahawks, I think Russell Wilson. The 49ers have improved so much. We made our, we Rams, made our, we, know, we know who the Rams are. Like, yeah. yeah. We made our pick for the NFC South. Yeah. And NFC then, North. Uh, I'm going to go. That's tough. I'm going to go Bears. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tight between Chicago and Green Bay. Green I think, Bay, I feel I think like Rodgers does something. I don't uh, think the Bears can win it twice. twice. I don't think Aaron Rodgers loses it twice. It comes down to like that last game they meet up against each other, and Rodgers is going to. He's more experienced than Trubisky. All right, the NFC cool. East. This is Cowboys, Giants, Philly, or Washington. I honestly kind of think it'll be Dallas. I like, think I'm just I, assuming that Zeke will come back. If he doesn't, like, if he misses more than a few games, I think Eagles easily take. I it. think the best team in the league is the Cowboys because they're so uh, well rounded. Because they're they're, they're very well rounded. It doesn't need like. The Chiefs, yeah, they have superstars, the same with the Rams, but like they have a good, polished, rounded team. The linebackers are strong. Their secondary is pretty good. They control the clock. Yeah, they control the clock with Zeke. Dak, I'm gonna say, throw ball fish I'm gonna league. say, I'm gonna say Philly. Yeah, I'm. A, yeah, Cowboys are the best team, but Philly wins it just because I don't think Cowboys is gonna. I think if Zeke holds out or like causes any kind of problems, yeah. uh, and honestly, the Eagles could still win it anyway, like just because they're probably a better overall. Cowboys just mess up too much. I think when it comes when time counts, they mess up. Next one's AFC West. I think it's. 
I think say, the Chiefs. Hate to say easy, but it's got, you almost got to say the Chiefs. Yeah. I mean, I think you're like, okay, maybe they could collapse after last year, which is definitely possible. Mm-hmm. But right now, it makes no sense to not pick them. Yeah, yeah it's, it's safe. I'm going with the Chiefs. I do think Oakland is a game away from carrying some momentum. I think uh, people to, are to like a little impatient on them, like we were talking about downstairs. Like, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm going to pick the next one. Bold prediction on the next one, by the way. AFC, AFC South. South. I'm going to say Jaguars. Jags? Hmm. I'm gonna say the Colts and just be safe. The Jags defense, yeah. we've been pr- we've been. The Texans are in there too. Though. Texans are in there. I'm, I'm gonna say the Colts because uh, they they've been progressing. And Andrew Luck is finally back, absolutely healthy. Like last year, he was healthy, but like they we took they took him out on a fourth and like a fourth down play where they're chucking Hail Marys because they didn't want him throwing the ball that deep. No, I didn't. Like know. yeah, they, they put in uh, what's his name um, from NC State. Uh, what's that guy's name? Oh, um, quarterback for the Colts. This is the Patriots. Uh, yeah. Oh. Um, Percent. Yeah, I think I think it'll be percent. Yeah, I think they they subbed him in like for a hell mary. Yeah, like, just for one hell mary. I was like, obviously Andrew Luck is not healthy. Okay, we did that right before it became public. That Cam was all messed up. Yeah. All right, I made my pick for the next one on the AFC North. I already said Cleveland. Mm. I'm gonna go Cleveland as well. You I'm gonna said, say, I'm gonna say Ravens. Ravens. I, I just feel like the Ravens are like this. I don't know. They're more experienced. They like, did it last year. Yeah. And all they gotta do is kind of continue on with what they're doing. Uh, with, well, if the if the Browns go off, they can't stop that. But yeah. And, this and last one, the it, last one, you're it's it's like a Chiefs situation. Like, well, you're just you're crazy to not pick the Patriots. <laughs> yeah. How many years in a row have they have they won? I mean, the one year they didn't win, it was like eight or nine. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they still other won. Other than that, it's been like twenty. It's they like still 20 won eleven games, games that year. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> like twenty years, well, they only lost it once. Like, yeah. Anyway, you're, yeah. You're crazy mm-hmm. not to pick. Them. I kind of hate how people always try to as a. To be like bold or whatever. Yeah. They'll like pick like someone else. The Dolphins or something. They do it for like clickbait no. or something. Yeah. 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 You, you just you gotta pick them. The only thing I'm looking forward to though is the Jets uh, <laughs> spoiling, the Jets barely making the playoffs and also spoiling the Pages from having the worst one, one or two seeds. That would be fun. If the Pages do not get home foot advantage, they are not going to the Super Bowl. I don't see it happening. If they don't get, like, like, so. if they're not a one seed, they're not going to the Super Bowl. Or no, if they're not a two seed, they might make it to the Super Bowl. If they're a three seed, they're not making it. They kind of got lucky in that Chiefs game, if we're being honest. Yeah. About it. Like, they had a lot of calls go their way. Yeah. One little offsides away from Pat Mahomes in the Super Bowl. That dude, yeah. pass interference, or that roughing the passer, that was nothing. Yeah. Shit, shit mm-hmm. called. That Edelman thing where they overturned it. Like, you know how hard it is to overturn a, the, the, yeah. where he didn't touch the ball or whatever? Like, I guess it, it was so much going on in that game. I like this video. It was fun. That's our picks. Comment if you don't like them, or if you do like them. Or if you, yeah. yeah. Either mm-hmm. way. Comment either way, so. Hopefully we're 100%. We'll put our Twitter uh, handles on there so we can argue still, with us. Hopefully exactly. people are still watching this deep into a video. I I'm always person. open for a Twitter argument. Yeah. Always. All the time. Always. All the time. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate it. Thanks for coming back on again. Yeah, we definitely. Do it. Super do it again fun. soon. Yeah. All right.